What is your advice for the mother of two? While dating my current spouse, I became pregnant nine years ago, and after that, we discussed getting married, then, I wasn't employed. He made it clear to my family and I that he is against court marriages for no apparent reason. My parents tried to talk to him, and I cried and begged him repeatedly to get married to me in a court of law, but he refused, I tried to beg him with the help of his family, but they refused, telling me that he was mature enough to make his own choices. He even declined to perform a white wedding because my religion required a court decree, so we just performed regular marriage in the end, later, I became weary and gave up trying, I was crushed and hurt but I decided to wed him nevertheless to spare my family and I the embarrassment of bearing an unmarried child. My father promised to see me become a prosperous and independent woman with or without him despite his anger and disappointment toward him, my dad assisted me in landing a position with a multinational corporation after I gave birth to my child, and things began to become better for me that I could finally look after myself and make plans for the future. Despite the fact that I married my husband, I never truly forgave him, which caused me to stop acting in my husband's behalf. We presently have two children together, my children's names are on every property I own, I also never listed him as my next of kin, my employer chose to move me to a Texas branch last month, and they're offering to pay for my entire family to go there as well. My husband is eager to relocate as well because his business isn't doing well, but we don't have a marriage license, he now wants to legalize our union in court, but I have refused because my father has threatened to disown me if I ever accompany him. He has been calling me everywhere a bad wife who is unfaithful to her spouse and spoils my family as well. His family has been phoning me and trying to convince me, but I told them I'm old enough to make my own decisions too and I've stood my ground just as he did to me nine years ago.